Today, we're going to show you how to install a Smith & Wesson M&P Simunition Conversion Kit onto a Smith & Wesson M&P weapon. First thing you need to do is to remove the magazine. Make sure that the chamber is clear and that you have no ammo in the weapon. Flip down the slide lock lever and remove the slide. Then, remove the recoil rod from the original slide. Next, install the recoil rod onto the simunition kit. To install the kit onto the frame, first you must remove the striker. Take a 3 32nd punch. Pull back on the striker guide bushing and pull up, and then remove the back plate. Press on the safety plunger and remove the striker. Now install the feed ramp onto the frame. Install the slide onto the frame. Pull the slide and lock it to the rear. Now you're ready to reinstall the striker. Put the striker into position. Press the safety plunger and then push the striker in. Take the back plate and move it into position. Take your punch and push onto the striker guide bushing, locking the back plate in place. And you are ready to go. To remove the kit, first thing you need to do is to remove the magazine. Make sure that the chamber is clear and that you have no ammo in the weapon. Rack the slide to the rear. Next, take the 3 32nd punch and push on the striker guide bushing. Remove the back plate. Press down on the safety plunger and remove the striker and place it to the side. Flip down the slide lock lever. Remove the feed ramp and put it aside. Next, remove the recoil rod and reinstall it onto the original slide. Rack the slide to the rear and the weapon is ready to go. Remember to put the striker back into the conversion kit. Take the 3 32nd punch, press the safety plunger, and push the striker guide bushing in. Put the back plate on and you are ready to go.